say you're cutie mark. I never told you that story. Hey, I thought we were gonna ask Rainbow Dash. We need all the help we can get. Uh, fine. Uh. Why, shoot. I was just a little filly. Even littler than y'all. I didn't want to spend my life on a muddy old apple farm. I wanted to live the sophisticated life, like my aunt and uncle Orange. So I set out to try my luck in the big city, Manhattan, the most cosmopolitan city in all of Christian. Hey, out of the way, you rogue! I knew I'd find out who I was meant to be in Manhattan. Aunt Orange, Uncle Orange, thank y'all so much for letting me stay. Y'all, <laughs> isn't she just the living end? <laughs> How quaint. Don't worry, we'll have you acting like a true Manhattanite in no time. And how are you finding good old Manhattan? Oh, it's simply divine. Very well said, my dear. Although, I must admit the city noise took some getting used to. Where I'm from, nights are so quiet, you seldom hear a peep until the roosters wake you. The what? I say, my dear, what in the world is a... Rooster. <laughs> What's he talking about? What do I say? I don't want to look like a fool. Dinner is served. Thank goodness. Being a city pony's hard work. I'm so hungry I could eat a... Cock-a-doodle-doo. Oh, I wonder what Granny Smith and Big Macintosh are up to. I bet they're apple bucking their way through the red delicious trees. Oh, what I wouldn't give for just one bite. I never felt so homesick in all my days as I did right then. It was amazing. A rainbow pointing right back to home. In that moment, it all became clear. I knew right then just who I was supposed to be. I've been happily working the farm ever 